guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Nation. Now, I got another product review for you guys today. I know my last video was a product review as well, but I kind of wanted to make up for the absolute terrible quality. Uh, I tried to get this recorded with my Yeti microphone, but it didn't exactly work as well as I'd want to. So I'm just going to do it with my brother's recording it with his phone. Uh, eventually, I guess I can get a webcam or camera or whatever to do this with. But, you know, adding diversity to my channel, keeping up... Uh, different types of videos uh if you haven't uh if you are unknown or not unknown <laughs> mixing up my words here uh if you're not aware i will be doing my ask fm video wednesday that's when it's gonna be uploaded but i will be answering the questions tomorrow on tuesday so if you have any questions that you guys want to answer definitely ask those uh right now the link to my ask fm will be in the description below but let's get on to the video today i'm going to be taking a look at my Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta figure, uh, I picked this up about uh, 10 years ago, I'd say, and it was about $15 when I picked it up in the packaging and all, because it was from Kmart, so it was brand new. Uh, it's it's a decent amount uh, of opposability on the figure itself, uh, in some weird places, in fact, you can twist his feet, you can twist his hands, and his torso, all the way around. Uh, his head might be able to do it as well, but I'm not sure because the hair is there. But the vest is uh, some sort of rubber. So is the sash. But he's opposable. You can spin his tail around. But for $15, it was quite a heck of a deal. I mean, the only problem really I can see with this is if you can see the face is pretty just dumb. <laughs> it's always been like that too. It's not like it got deformed or anything over the years. It's always been that way. Uh, it's definitely a lot pricier nowadays. Prices will vary on it, but they're not usually low prices. But, uh, this is a Series 7 figure from Jack Specific, so if you guys ever want to pick it up, definitely try to get cheap. Don't pay too much for it, but, uh, I'll leave a link to, uh, one of the sites you can get it on in the description below so you guys can check it out. But if you can get it cheap, I'd say it's definitely worth, uh, a, I'd say 25 bucks at most. Because uh, Dragon Ball Z toys and figures are pretty pricey nowadays, but it's quite tall, as you can see. But, I mean, that's basically, if you guys like these videos at all, just let me know in the comments below so I, I'll keep doing them. I don't mind at all. I can review other types of products relating to, like, my gaming stuff and the audio, uh, like, microphone and all that. Stuff like that. So, if you guys enjoy it, let me know in the comments below. But, yeah, that's basically it, and I'll catch you later.